Suppose the quadratic polynomial p of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c has positive coefficients a, b, c in arithmetic progression in that order. If p of x is equal to 0 has integer roots alpha and beta, then alpha plus beta plus alpha beta equals. The question looks very easy, but it's a slightly tricky one. The first thing we need to note that uh, since a, b, c are positive numbers, the roots of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 will be negative. So if the roots are alpha and beta, both alpha and beta will be negative. Because a, b, c are positive, to get 0, we should have x value as negative. We have a condition which says a, b, c are in a, p. a, b, c are in a, p. So I am going to consider a equal to b minus d c is equal to b plus d. Of course, b is b itself. So, that, that's how you take an AP. Three numbers in AP can always be taken as um, a minus d, a, a plus d. So, note this point. Three numbers in AP can always be taken in the form a minus d, a, a plus d. So, I've taken a as b minus d, b as b itself, c is equal to b plus d. Now, the quadratic expression becomes p of x is equal to a, that is b minus d, x squared plus b x plus c is b plus d equal to 0. Now, your sum of roots alpha plus beta is equal to minus b divided by b minus d, minus b by a and product of roots is equal to alpha beta that is equal to c by a c by a is nothing but b plus d divided by b minus d now we are asked to find out what alpha plus beta plus alpha beta is so substituting these values we get minus b divided by b minus d plus b plus d divided by b minus d this is nothing but d divided by b minus d so uh, you are probably stuck here uh, because we need to find alpha plus beta plus alpha beta as a number and what what we have is just uh, d divided by b minus d so here is the tricky part i'm going to i'm going to manipulate this expression slightly so I'm going to write this expression as minus of d by minus of minus d divided by b minus d. Now I'll rewrite this expression as minus of b minus d minus b by b minus d. I can split it as minus 1 minus minus b by b minus d. So you can observe that the minus b by b minus d is nothing but alpha plus beta. So you have alpha plus beta plus alpha beta equal to minus 1 minus alpha minus beta. Now we need to think. Uh, we have one more information given in the question. It says alpha and beta are integer roots. So uh, let's try to make 0 on RHS. So when you bring everything to LHS, it becomes 2 alpha plus 2 beta plus alpha plus beta plus 1 equal to 0. The first thing that comes to my mind is to factorize the LHS. So I can try factorizing it as 2 plus alpha into 2 plus beta. But something is missing. On the LHS, you have a constant term as 1, but um, here it comes as 4, so you need to write 3 on the RHS. Now we have 2 plus alpha into 2 plus beta equal to 3. Now, since alpha and beta are integers, we can factorize the RHS. That is the catch here. So we can factorize the RHS as the possibilities are 3 into 1 or minus 3 into minus 1 or minus 1 into minus 3 or 1 into 3. 
but uh, we have already told that uh, we are, we are already uh, we have already understood that alpha and beta are negative um so um, the uh, possibilities only possibilities we can have are 2 plus alpha equal to minus 3 2 plus beta equal to minus 1 or 2 plus beta equal to minus 1 and 2 plus alpha equal to Uh, sorry, 2 plus alpha, uh, 2 plus beta equal to minus 3, 2 plus alpha equal to minus 1. So, in this case I get alpha equal to minus 5, beta is equal to minus 3. Other case I get beta equal to minus 5, alpha equal to minus 3. In both cases, what we need to find is alpha plus beta plus alpha beta. So, we have alpha and beta ready. So, in both cases, alpha plus beta plus alpha beta will come out to be minus 5 minus 3 plus 15, which is 7. So, C is your answer.